Salam and greetings, Brother Nick Vanderlaan here. Today is the 23rd day of the 10th month. It's January 10th, 2019. This video is being broadcasted from Indio, California. This is my second video of the day. And uh, there's some things that I want to bring up. Um, this video is titled, Wretched Hanukkah Altar Dedication Sacrifice Was Made on Mount Zion. I say that it was a wretched dedication sacrifice because the men performing this reject Yeshua, the Mashiach, but also there's probably even deeper issues with these men we'll get into in, in later videos on this on my channel. So here we have, I made a panoramic, I put some, I stitched some uh, images together to get an idea on the location that this altar dedication sacrifice was made. Here you can see the altar. Here you can see what appears to be a uh, Ashkenazi, Pharisaic, Hasidic Jew. And here you can see these people who claim to be Levite priests. I don't think the DNA results, true DNA results, will prove them to be. So, well, I'm going to be doing a video on uh, DNA uh, exposing what is called Jewish DNA by an Israeli geneticist. I'll be making a future video on that. But right now we're talking about the location that this event happened. Let's be really critical of this event. If anybody saw this event, it was a really chimsy event. They were using pallets. Okay. Uh, it was absolutely weird uh, if you really think about what went on. So let's get back to the location. This location right here is called the Hidden Gate. This is on the western wall of Jerusalem at the southernmost section of the western wall wall of the old city wall not western wall as in Fortress Antonia which they call the, the, the Temple Mount. Right here you have the Bema Judgment Seat. This is the Bema Judgment Seat right here in this location. And we'll go ahead and take a look at where a Roma Bema Seat would have been. Uh, this is now what's called David's Citadel, uh, but this is an Ottoman Empire uh, Citadel that was there that they renamed David's Citadel, Citadel. And then right here is Jaffa's Gate. So this is going to give you a good idea on where this event happened. Now to the right of this area, this platform, we'll take a look to the right. Here it is. And here you have the southwest corner of Old City, Jerusalem. You might not have seen this image before, but this is an artist rendition of, of this area that I just went, showed you. This would have been a gate to the old city gates that were made by King Herod. And this is, these steps up would have gone up to where a bema seat for judgment would have been, and all the people would have gathered right here. So a location where the Messiah was judged. I very well could have been. Here is a map of the Armenian quarter, the Armenian uh, quarter of Jerusalem. You have the Christian quarter, you have the Armenian quarter, you have the Jewish quarter, and then you have the Muslim quarter. So this quarter of Old City Jerusalem is the Armenian quarter. And this area, here's the wall on the west, and here's the southern wall, and here's that corner. So it was the, the sacrifice was made right out here outside what is called the Armenian Garden area in green. Here's another photo, a bird's eye photo of the Armenian quarter. This is the western wall, and then this right here is the southern wall. Right here outside this protruding part of the wall is where the sacrifice was made. And then here is the Armenian Garden that I just showed you about. And look how this area right here is now used for a parking lot, and this has nothing on this site. Aerial view. Here is this. This is the western wall of the old city, and this is this now the southern wall. So this is the southwest corner. And look at where this sacrifice dedication, altar dedication, was made. Right here in red, right here in this area. So here is a map. We are south of the old city, Jerusalem, 
And we are on uh, the neighborhood of Abu Tor, what's also called the Mount of Evil Council. And we are looking north, and this is actually what is called Mount Zion. And look how it slopes, and it slopes, uh, has a great slope. The slope goes down almost around 400 feet, I believe, from about 165 meters up top all the way down to like 600 meters. So a huge slope on Mount Zion, and it's a huge mountain. I have identified this as the true of Mount Zion, and this area actually somewhere up here is where I believe the temple really stood. Now here it is on the the altar dedication was made at one of the highest points in Old City, Jerusalem. And as I've proven in my video before, I believe that, or I've documented at least, that Yahweh loves the high places and that Satan uh, tries to counterfeit Yahweh with his pagan high places where offerings were made to him. So here is a aerial satellite view satellite view of Old City Jerusalem and as you can see these are the walls of of the Old City all around here and again this is the area where it was made and this is what they call the Temple Mount so a very interesting location on where this wretched altar sacrifice was made. Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion, here's Mount Zion, says that they that trust in Yahweh shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so is Yahweh round about his people from henceforth, even forever. And here you have Jerusalem right here on these mountains, and as all of these mountains are around Jerusalem, which is a city built together right here, Tropian Valley was filled in. It is connected together because Jerusalem is built as a city compact together. The Tropian Valley was filled in. So, in my temple series of finding the true temple site, the temple location, the true temple mount, I have used various methods of triangulation from King Herod's family tomb that he built that points this way and from the Mosque of David which is, became the synagogue of David. Now it's the cynical, pointed this way. And where they would intersect, I believe, could be a possible site. I also read the Psalms of Ascent, starting from King David's palace, as he would make a procession from the king's palace on up Mount Zion. And when I ended reading the Psalms of Ascent, I ended right here. You need to watch my, my series on locating the temple where I use those two methods to find the general location of where the temple would be. And I, I think somewhere in this red circle is fair to say where the actual temple site was. Could have been up here. Now you're starting to slope down in here a little too much. So I don't believe that it was there. This is a topographic map and how flat it is here on the top of Mount Zion. Also you can see the height, how it goes from 765 meters down to 615 meters here at the bottom of the valley, the Kidron Valley. That is 150 meter difference. Right here in where the purple arrow is pointing is where they did this sacrifice. They performed it right here on the top of Mount Zion. Mount Zion, like I said, is the high place. This is the high place of is of Jerusalem right here and this very well could be where the temple was located somewhere up in this area right here this uh, okay so I just wanted to document this as far as the significance of what they did of this sacrifice that they made and we know that Yeshua is the complete sacrifice yes There'll be sacrifices that appears in the millennial temple. But Yeshua is the sacrifice. And if the people that are making the sacrifice don't have the Son, they don't have the Father, Yahweh. So, again, this was uh, just documenting the location 
of this wretched uh, sacrifice uh, that took place and this dedication of the altar and uh, by by wicked priests and now we have a better priesthood we are in the priesthood of Melchizedek and that is now the order that will be for the millennial reign so hallelujah uh, for that new order of Melchizedek uh, king of righteousness we are now to be Zadok priests priests of righteousness priests priests of our own family so I am signing off for this video I hope uh, this info, the information in this video gave you a little bit more understanding on what they did. All the abominations that are happening here. It said that Jerusalem would become like a high place and a forest, according to Micah 3.14. And what do you have on high places? Sacrifices. That's what they would do at the high places. What do you have as well? Forests. And as I've shown you again here in this video, look at the forests. Said It said that that the temple would be plowed like a field. Look at all of these fields here on Mount Zion. Look at the forest. And now I don't have a picture. You have to go back to my other videos. But if you could look at all of the trees that are nowadays that are on this area, clearly this is the only site where it has become like a forest. Fulfilling scripture. And again, the sacrifice, it said it would become like a high place. And high places had pagan sacrifices, and that's what happened uh, with this sacrifice dedication of the altar that took place. Uh, so I'm signing off for now. Shalom.